For today's Nutcracker audition prep, I will be sewing my point shoes, shaving, doing some practicing, doing my makeup and my hair, and picking out my outfit. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Hello, hey guys, what is up, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille, and today we're kind of starting a new series, but then again I already have like two series going on on my channel and I don't need another series, but for those of you who don't know, I'm a dancer, and so I wanted to bring some more dance related content to this channel, seeing as it's like such a big part of my life, and I dance with like a separate studio. Anyways, that's not really the point, but today's video is the start of my Nutcracker series. I want like a fun name for it, but I haven't thought of a good name for it yet. But anyways, today, oh, I just got a text. So the main part of this video, which is why the main reason you clicked on this video is because it is starting to be Nutcracker season. And if you guys are living under a rock and you don't know what the Nutcracker is, it's a really famous ballet and my studio puts it on every single year and we basically audition for parts and we spend all Saturdays practicing and then we have shows and stuff like that. Obviously this year it is a little bit different because of COVID and everything, but I still wanted to bring you guys along to kind of document it a little bit. We're not really going to get a lot of footage from the studio, but... Um, yeah. Anyways, but I wanted to start off showing you guys what I do for like a Nutcracker audition or like to prep for one kind of thing. So we're going to be like sewing new point shoes, um, getting ready for the actual thing, all of that, so working on a dance, everything like that. Obviously there's so much prep that goes into it just like rehearsing and dancing, but yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> So honestly, I don't know if I explain the Nutcracker well or not, or ballet, but I feel like there's so many things to explain. Anyways, so for people who don't know, I feel like there's probably dancers who would know or who would watch this. But if you don't know, these are point shoes, and these ones are pretty, they're a little beat up, um, but they're actually dead. And what we mean when we say a point shoe is dead, that means that it like, it doesn't work anymore. It's like, what's it called? Like, like broken, but like... It breaks after using it. You know, like, it's just a done shoe. <laughs> Why do I not know how to explain this? Basically, like, if it's dead, it just means that it doesn't work anymore because you wore it down kind of thing. Like, you wore it for so long. But point shoes die quite often. They're all handmade, actually. And, yeah, then you have to get a new one, like, every... Depending on how much you dance and, like, what level you at, you're at, like, every few, like, every few months or so, a few times a year... And yeah, so this is a new pair, very pretty, and I'm sure you guys don't really want to learn how to sew point shoes. If you do want to, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube, so many, just look it up. Anyways, but this is what they look like, and we have to put all of these on them, and no, they do not look like Barbie from the Barbie ballerina movie, um, but yeah, <laughs> okay, that's just like ballet and like that point shoes in like kids movies or like movies in general that are like animated they're not <laughs> like your laces don't go up to your knees anyways so these also smell kind of bad yeah. okay so we have some new elastics Doop. and some new ribbons and now I'm just what I do personally is because I haven't sewed point shoes in a while because I was out of the studio for a while because of COVID. And then I've been using these shoes, but what I do is I trace. I don't really have a template. I just trace or I just overlay it on the other, my old shoes. So this is the shoe I'm using right now. And we just go like this. And then I cut it right there. Oh shoot, is this one gonna be too short? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't think you have enough. I think it'll work. I think what we just need to do is just not put it as low on the shoe. Yeah. Uh oh, we almost do not have enough elastic. That is not good. I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work. Okay, perfect. So then for ribbon, all I do at first is I just take the whole thing out. It's kind of pretty like this. <laughs> and then let's see. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, so we just cut it into four equal segments. Hold on. Shop. Oh. There's something around. And perfect. Now we're ready to go fire the ends. <laughs> just 
kidding. Um, now we go burn the ends, and I know that sounds crazy to anyone who's not a dancer, but basically you just use a lighter and you just, you don't burn it actually, you just hold it near it and it like melts the plastic at the end so that they don't fray. It's very smart actually. Okay, let's go. See, let me show you an end that's done for my other shoe. Actually, no, I'll just do this. Anyways, okay, so then this is what they look like when they're done. Let me see if you guys can see that. There's like a little edge on them. Anyways, okay, so let's just get started. I'm not going to like explain the whole thing. I'm just going to explain a little. Um, <laughs> okay, so first of all, basically, I, I don't know what I'm explaining, what I'm not explaining. But what I do is I turn this part inside out. See, so it matches this part. These are, oh my gosh, how do I hold these the same way? Oh, like this. So here you go. Like so. Um, and then I just match this. Is this the shorter one or the longer one? And then I just put some pins in it. jazz um yeah we're not gonna go too crazy for an audition like honestly you want to feel your best and the most confident um and especially because we're going to be wearing a mask that's going like, to cover this whole part of your face so like mostly this part is the most important um and yeah okay let's do it like obviously more than like normal makeup but i'm not going to go like performance level because i mean technically you should but gosh guys do you hear the rain like it's pouring it's like the middle of, like fall okay we gotta do her spray also this is like my go-to hairstyle although i really should be doing it um a bun like on the top of my head because that's more classical yet this is like easier for me looks better and more like makes me more confident so I recommend doing what makes you feel the most confident. And yeah. Bro. Now we have some tights and the Leo. 